Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome to a new series on my channel. It's going to be another career mode and it's going to be with Lazio, the Italian side. I am very excited for this because Lazio is a very mu is very much an up and coming team in Italy. Currently they are in 4th place and only 2 points behind Napoli who are sitting in 3rd spot which would uh, get them to the Champions League. And last year they finished, I think, ninth or something. And this year they've really kicked off. They have a very nice squad. And in this career mode, I'm gonna try to help them to, you know, get Italian supremacy. To, you know, fight Roma and Juventus for those top Italian league spots. And hopefully give them the third Serie A title. And in like two or three years, maybe attack the Champions League. Uh, this year, obviously, because they finished ninth, there's going to be no European football for us, unfortunately. I'm going to change the currency to Euros, by the way. Uh, we have the stadium, uh, Stadio Olimpico, which they obviously share with uh, uh, with Roma. Uh, we're going to download the latest rosters. We, ha we will have European competition in the first uh, in the first season, even though we won't be doing anything there, obviously. But yeah, the Stadium Olimpico, it's an original stadium here in FIFA. It's uh, not a generic stadium, which is pretty a pretty nice change of pace uh, compared to the Millwall Cream mode where we always play at Ivy Lane. And I think that's pretty good. It's going to play on Legendary from the start. And also five minute quarters. Not much changing here. And we will advance. Alright, and this is our manager, Pat. Vicizioni, yes! Decided to go with an Italian name here. I also want to take over the Italian uh, manager job, you know, for the national squad. Because that would be kind of interesting. So, Pat Vicizioni, ready to take on the Serie A. Let's go! Alright, so here we are. Let's check our emails first. Domestic Cup object objective is to reach the quarterfinal. That is interesting. We could probably do that. We should look for a striker. Well, I gotta decide that, mate. But uh, seems like we have to when the board tells us or the assistant manager tells us. Uh, here's a scout, and the league objective is to qualify for the champion. Yes, we do need to look at a striker because <coughs> closer is obvious. To take a look at a striker because because closer he is great, but 36 years old, he's not gonna play for too much longer. I think he's actually going to retire after this season, at least in the game, not sure in real life, but a couple of very good young players here, such as Keita and Kavanda. Also, I have some very old players, not very old, the Desma 31, but like Closer uh, and a couple other guys. It's a very nice mix, really, between uh, experienced players and young players. We also have a pretty nice striker in Jordovic, who's going to be the backup for closer. A uh, very good finisher, I think. Yes, with 84. Pretty solid finisher. We have actually, also, yeah, the Vri, the Vrish, the Vrai. <laughs> I'm not sure, but he's a 22-year-old with already 79 overall. So he's going to be vital for us in the future. We have Marchetti, a 31-year-old goalkeeper. So we're pretty much settled at least for the next two, three years at that position. Alright, so I've rearranged the score a little bit. And I have Cavanda starting at right back because he's only two overalls lower than Buster. And Buster is 29 years old and Cavanda obviously only 23. So he has room to grow. He's supposed to have a pretty nice potential. And yeah, on that, not much has changed. I think I've put Parolo into the squad. And uh, I'm going to keep Felipe Anderson here at camp because he's just such a great youngster, isn't he? Just look at that pace and also pretty nice dribbling, good ball control. Can kick some free kicks with that 74 uh, accuracy. Uh, not the kind of passing you would wish for in the camp, but I think he can be good there. I think I'm going to love playing with this guy, Kandreva. Wow, just look at those stats. It's amazing. And he also has a four-star weak foot. And he's still 27 years old, so he has still a bit of room to grow. Uh, and still a couple of years. 
uh, where he can play on his peak pretty much. But um, yeah, we have to look at a striker obviously as we only have Jordovic as a backup. We also have Tunkara here who does have a pretty nice potential. I'm pretty sure he's only 18 years old so he could grow. But anyways, uh, there are my reserves as you can see. Not sure uh, who could, will get much playing time. I think Perea will, uh, I will give him the occasional game or two. Maybe also Ederson and Siani. I put Mauricio on the bench because he has the same overall, but he is a bit younger. He's 25 and Siani is 30. So anyways, I think we can first of all loan out a couple of players. I'm thinking of this right back because we have loads of right backs. Maybe this one too. How old is he? 26. Maybe we could also sell him on. Alright, so this is going to be my second team. As you can see, it's pretty much all the guys who are on the bench right now. And I'm also going to create one for my reserves, just for those uh, preseason friendlies. Alright, and this is my reserves team. As you can see, it's obviously not very strong. And we have like all those players who usually wouldn't see that much playing time. Like Antic and Cataldi. Also Tunkara and Perea up front. I'm very interested in this Eduardo Bellini guy. He would cost us 4.7 million. He has 5 star experience, however only 3 star judgments. So leave a comment down below whether I should do that. I would just love a scout who has both 5 star experience and 5 star judgment. So I'm a bit hesitant right now. Alright, let's just go through our players right now and see who could we get out and loan. We could get uh, this goalkeeper out and loan. And we have loads of center backs. I think we do need to get rid uh, rid of either uh, Novaretti or Gentiletti. We would get a bit more money for Gentiletti. Oh, I forgot. Gentiletti has just recently joined the club, so we can't. We obviously we can't sell him. And I think I'm gonna try to get him out. Um, Brafite, I think also, yeah, he recently joined, so I can't, uh, get rid of him, unfortunately. And, yeah, we could get rid of one of the right backs. We're definitely gonna send him out and loan, the youngster. And, hmm, Perinha. I don't really need him, do I? He's only been at the club since 2013, but I have so many good right backs. Even though Kanko is gonna is getting old. Hmm, I think we could actually get him out on loan. Let's try to do that. And looking at my midfielders, I also have a couple of them loaned out. Wow, I have so many midfielders, it's absolutely crazy. But anyways. So anybody, I think we can definitely uh, loan out uh, Milos Antic and also Danilo Cataldi because we have loads of midfielders and if any injuries occur, like every single one gets injured with my midfielders, we could obviously recall them from the loan. Um, my wingers, I'm not quite sure. Uh, we have a couple of them loaned out, obviously, and with my strikers, I think I'm pretty happy with four strikers. Mm, nah, 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 I think I'm, I think we're good for now. So, anyways, let's actually take a look at some of those uh, players we have in a scout report here. Oh, he doesn't look too bad, does does he? So it's scout Simone Zaza. So let's progress for now and see if we can get some of these players out on loan. So we have already a final scout report on Simone Zaza, the 23 year old striker. Be a 77 overall, could probably progress to be even better. Oops, sorry. Um, solid pace, 91 jumping, that goes really well with, the, with his height, 6 foot 1. Solid strength, See, uh, finishing is at a 79, so that's not too bad. 
Um, his heading accuracy is good. He's a very good all-around player, I must say. And he could be really good in that uh, as a single striker. So I'm gonna definitely put him uh, on my short list. Wouldn't be too expensive to uh, either. Ooh, Real Madrid in talks with Manchester City over Aguero. That is totally unexpected, isn't it? <laughs> Got a transfer for here for Diego Novaretti over 600,000. I want uh, the 7.75. I think that's only fair. So it's counter for that. Alright, so Sampdoria has matched the 775,000 counter offer we made them. So now they're gonna negotiate his contract, which is good. Not a transfer for this time for Thomas Trakosha. And it's for season loan. He can go, obviously. Hmm, what about Franco Di Santo? Let's scout him. He's a very good striker. Alright, so Closer has sent me an email saying he's giving a lot of thought as to whether this is going to be his last season of the game or in the game. So that was pro pretty much expected, to be honest. That uh, he's probably gonna retire after the season. We're gonna loan. Bruno Peri, per <laughs> oh my God, Pereirinha to Cagliari. Yeah, you can go with your ridiculous name. <laughs> All right, so we have a fine scar report on Franco Di Santo. Mm, he's a 77 overall, with good finishing. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. I think it would be a very nice option, wouldn't he? Also got Mario Icardi here. What would he cost us? 15.1 to 23.8 million. Hmm, is that worth it? To be honest, I don't think I have to spend too much money on other positions as of right now. Alright, so we have the first friendly against Toulouse. And I think I'm gonna put up my first squad to take them on in a sim match. And we've lost with our first team. At home too. Wow. That is a bit surprising to be honest. Alright, for this game against Paderborn, I think I'm gonna put up my reserve squad and sim this match. So, let's see if we can get a win here. Hopefully we do. It's a draw, okay. And it looks like Perea got injured and had to be subbed off. And Tunkara scored for us, that is pretty nice. Let's see if the injury is... Okay, it's only a dead leg quad, and he will be out three days, so that's basically nothing. Alright, we've got an offer for Lucas Biglia. Um, no. He's too good. I'm not gonna let him go to Fiorentina. Alright, so Giuseppe Sculli wants to play, and I wanted to put up my second squad anyways, and, I, and he is featured there, as you can see. So we're gonna sim that one to this match against Wolfsburg. And after that, the episode is actually going to be over. So, uh, let's first see. Oh, it's a 3-0 victory. Yes, but Ledesma got injured. Unfortunately. Let's see if it's bad. Oh, he w a head cut only one day. Okay, it's not too bad. And Scully is thankful for the chance. Alright, so you may have realized I have not made any offers at all. That's because I wanted to ask you guys, who should I sign? Uh, as you can see, here's my short list. Those three strikers I've been the most impressed by so far. You can also obviously suggest me other strikers uh, who, I sh who I could go for. We have to sign a striker, remember. And here's also a couple of other interesting players. So anyways, do leave me a suggestion down below. I really would like to sign either Franco De Santo or Simone Zaza. Both very interesting options. But anyways, this is going to conclude the first episode of the Lazio career mode. I'm trying to get a bit of a rotation uh, with the series and the Mercury mode. So one day it's going to be Millwall, next day it's going to be Lazio. Taking a look at the calendar, we're going to take on... Oh God, is that Vercelli? I think, in the TIM Cup. And then a huge game against Mil Milan at uh, on transfer deadline day. So we have loads of time next episode to make some deals happen but anyways hope you guys enjoyed it leave a like if you did 
Don't forget to suggest me some players or tell me what you think about the players I have in on my short list. Subscribe for more Let's Your Career Mod and support the series. Tune in next time. See you guys then. Goodbye.